Hey y'all, I'm Hillbilly. Welcome back to Let's Play Hot Shots Tennis. Last time, we defeated June and can now use her as a character. And as you can see by the way it texted out, we can't replay this match. At least I don't think we can. Oh, we can? Wow. I didn't know that. It's just letting us know that we've already beat it. Okay, that's interesting. <laughs> I don't think I ever knew that before that you could replay a finished match. But now we can play Ashley for the Aloha Beach Tennis Court. Let's have a good match! Okay, let's use the character we just got. We'll use June. And th these characters are all beginner. There's one more we don't have yet. There's four beginner characters, six intermediate, and four... I don't know if it calls them advanced or pro or what, but we'll get to them. Go get them! Yeah, the things with the X's in them we can't change. Normally you can change the chord if you want to, but since we're playing for the chord, we can't. Let's start. Let's start the match. Yeah, here it's explaining the different buttons. Top spin, slice, and lob. I don't know if I were playing Ashley for what seems to be Cody's chord. Oh, that's out. Now, fifteen. Fault. Yeah, as the characters get more powerful, you start with the least powerful ones. Fifteen. Oh. And they slowly get more powerful, and as they get more powerful, their timing gets less forgiving. Even when the uh Even when the computer is playing them. In most instances. There is a thing in this game, and I read somewhere that it's actually random where the computer characters will occasionally just be having a bad day and be easy to beat. The first time that happened to me, I thought it was a pity thing. Because I had kept losing to that character and then finally won an easy match. That's only a thing up to a point. There's a point where it doesn't do that anymore. These one set matches to four only last 12.2. By the end, we'll be playing four three set matches. I hate the lobs. I have so much trouble timing them. And the, the first character in the next level <laughs> lobs almost exclusively when you're trying to get him. He's not so bad when you play him after you've beaten him and acquired him. While you're trying to, he's rough. Oh, I got a rare, properly timed hit on the log. Yep, properly timed to smash it when they do that. Well, you'll smash it anyway, but if it's not timed correctly, you're going have to smash it longer into the net. Got away with that one. Hit it with the rabbit. Look okay, at it's getting scary. I got away with two of those in a row. And you can do a slice serve on the first serve toss. And I usually do that when I try that. Oh. 
<laughs> I got lucky there. I was talking, not paying attention. I actually did a first serve on the second serve, but I hit it. We'll eventually have doubles matches too. That's going out. Fifteen. Oh. And even in, in the challenge mode in a doubles match, you can actually have a second player play the, your partner instead of the computer. Everything you unlock 15, in the challenge 40. mode can be used in the uh, free play mode, which is uh, what's the free play mode called? Fun time, fun time tennis is the free play mode. You can use anything you've unlocked. Game set and match. What did you expect? Yeah. And I'll try to remember to show the stat screen at the end. I'm not going to go through them, but I'll try to remember to show it after each match. And we'll see what's available to us next. We've got the uh, Loja Beach Court for that. And as far as I know, there's nothing you can miss. If you finish the game, you'll unlock everything. So yeah, now we can play a match against Cody to get Umpire Suzuki or a match against JJ to get JJ. That's our fourth beginner character. We'll do, we'll decide which one of those we're going to do next time. So thank you for watching and y'all come back.